Hello, hello, welcome back, guys. How are you today? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Elmer. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent, excellent. Nice to see you. Hello, Elisa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Ana Cecia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Daisy. Hello, Gabriel, Erica, Gloria, Sandra. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? How do you feel? Are you ready for your class? I'm doing okay right now. It's uh, kind of cold in here. Oh, really? Are you working or are you at home? Uh, actually, I'm working at this moment. Oh, okay, then. That's good. That's good. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and hop into it real quick. We're going to finish what we started last uh, class, which was this activity. Let's listen first, and then we're going to check it together. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? Can hear? One. Can everybody hear? Hi. Are you Yes. Teacher. yes. Okay. Hello. I'm Liz Morton. Tom Morton's mother? Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course, I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Two. Okay, so the first activity who was speaking, a mother and her son, a teacher and her student, or a woman and her son's friend? A woman and her son's friend. A woman and her son's friend, very good. All right, let's look at the next one. Hey, Jim, great music. What group is it? I don't know, it's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the style's changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. A lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. All right, who is speaking on this one? Two older friends. Two older friends, good, good. All right, let's look at the third one. Three. Mmm, Jenny, this is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? 
Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh yeah, George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Uh, who was talking on that one? Two wives. Two wives, very good, thank you. All right, let's look at the next one. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course, I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. What is the closing remark on this conversation? It Number was great two. to meet you, Pete. It was great to meet you, Pete. Very good. So you say goodbye. It was great to meet you, Pete. Very good. Two. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the style's changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. A lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mm, Jenny, this is... Okay, on this one, what was the last remark? Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Very good. Thank you. Let's go for number three. Delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh, no. George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh, yeah. George cooks? You didn't know that? 
Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. All right, what is the closing phrase on this one? Talk, Talk to, to you soon. soon. Talk to you soon, very good. All right, excellent. Does anybody have any questions about this exercise? Any questions? No questions. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at 1.6. By the end of this class, participants will understand the use of reported speech. Let's watch the video and listen to the instructions about reported speech. Hi, I'm sorry, what did you say? This time you will be able to report what someone has said to you or to someone else. Reported speech, statements. It's a big secret. Report statements. He said that it was a big secret. I'm getting a terrible grade. He said that he was getting a terrible grade. They got engaged. He said that they had gotten engaged. We weren't talking about you. They claimed that they hadn't been talking about me. She's been absent since Tuesday. He said that she had been absent since Tuesday. We had never been there before. She said that they had never been there before. I'll meet you at the cafe. He said that he would meet me at the cafe. Reported questions. I asked him if he had known about the layoffs. What are you saying? I asked them what they were saying. Commands. Don't say anything. Reported commands. He warned his friends not to say anything. General truths. The sun rises in the east. Reported general truths. She said that the sun rises in the east. No change in tense. Let's talk about reported speech. We often use reported speech too. Number one, give someone a telephone message. Number two, tell someone news that we heard from someone else. Number three, to report something that happened earlier. Now, how do we use it? When we use reported speech, we are usually talking about something that happened in the past. Therefore, verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. Follow us in these examples. John said, I do a lot of homework. John said that he did a lot of homework. John said, I did a lot of homework last week. John said that he had done a lot of homework the previous week. This is what we mean when we say the verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. For example, um, is becomes was, are becomes were, have, has becomes had, can becomes could, will becomes would. Something else we need you to take into account are these changes. Here becomes there, this, these becomes that, those. Today, tonight, becomes that day, that night. Yesterday becomes the day before. Last week, last month, becomes the previous week, the previous month, or the week before, the month before. Tomorrow becomes the next day, the following day. Next week, next month, becomes the following week, the following month. But we do have some exceptions to the rules. There is no change in tense when reporting general truth, and no tense change in immediately reported speech. Also take note about this, that is optional. Let's go over questions in reported speech. Remember we have WH questions and yes no questions. For example, where do you work? She asked me where I worked. Whereas in yes no questions in reported speech becomes if. 
Before we go, we have to go over commands in reported speech. With commands, the verb in simple present becomes an infinitive. Don't plus simple present becomes not plus infinitive. Please change the following sentences to reported speech. Type them on our discussion box. She eats pasta. We came late. I am happy. All right, guys. So we're going to do a little review in regards to the reporting speech. For example, what count are these changes? If somebody says here becomes there, comes where, how. Right here, for example, if somebody says uh, in the direct speech, somebody says, I am hungry. I am hungry, right, in the first speech. But if we're going to use the reporting speech, we're going to say, he said he was hungry. Or, for example, if we use R, if I say to you, for example, a we are, uh, let's say, tired. We are tired. And then somebody says, what did they say? Oh, they said they were tired in the re reporting speech, right? Or for example, if I say I have, I have a car. And then somebody asks, what did he say? You could say, he said, he said, he had a car. And then can, for example, I can speak. English, and then somebody says, what did he say? And we say, he said he could speak English, okay? Or if we use will, um, you say, uh, I will. I will paint my house. I will paint my house. Turns to he said he would paint the house. Okay. Now, um, any questions about this exercise? Questions? Any questions? No questions. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to give me some examples over here in the discussion box. You're going to come over here, añade una publicación, and you're going to write reported speech. You're going to come here, titulo, reported speech. And then you are going to write them here, at least four examples, five examples. And when you're finished, you're going to put in yeah. Any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Okay, I want you to do no, no, no. I want you to do this activity in pairs. Work as a group and do the exercise together. 
Ready? Let's go. For example, if you tell me something and I'm talking with with Elmer, yes, this. Uh, for example, you tell me that you're you're sleepy and I'm talking with Elmer I'm telling him that Elizabeth told me that she was sleeping she was sleepy <laughs> Let so me. so we You we got the... to go to the one dot seven section. This door. And right. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Gloria. Uh, for me, one example is um i am tired and the uh, mm -hmm. report speech is he he said he he was tired yes um elizabeth what about you um for me um i am happy she said she was happy. Yes. Yes. Gloria? Mm, another one would be um, a, I have two dogs and report the speech would be she said that she had two dogs okay um other example is I can, I can swim. And the report speech, he say he could swim. Okay. In my case, I have a bad job. He said he had a bad job. Gloria? Another one. Mm, I hate to drink soda. She said she she hates to drink soda. Okay, um, for me, uh, other example is I have I have a pet 
and report speech is he say he had a pet. Okay. Hey, Ma. In my case, in negative, I okay. don't have, I don't have, uh, I don't have money. <laughs> Me too. She, <laughs> she said she that she didn't money. <laughs> Okay. Another one will be um, Christina is getting married. Mary? Yes. And report the speech would be Christina told me that she was getting married okay okay um you know other other example for me is i will travel uh usa and uh report speech she say he will travel the USA. Okay. okay, Erica, can you give me one example, please? Hello, Erica. Can you give me one example, please? Uh, hello, Damaris. Can you give me one example, please? Hello, Anna, says Celia. Can you give me one example, please? Yes, teacher. Okay. I I will call you tomorrow. He Very say good. would call me tomorrow. Very good. He said he would call me tomorrow. Excellent. Uh, can somebody else give me another example, please? Another example. I am tired. Okay. Areli. Then Gabriel. She was tired. Repeat. Repeat. I am tired. I am tired. She said she was tired. She said she was tired. Very good. Okay. Uh, somebody else? Another example was. I think it was. Um, Gabriel? Yeah, it was raining all day. It was raining all he day. He told me it had been raining all day. He told me it had been raining all day. Okay. Another example? Somebody else? I finished Anna? the report on time. I finished she the report said on time. She would finish the report on time. Okay. She said she would finish the report on time. Excellent. Somebody else? Another example? I am happy. She said she was happy. She said she was happy. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next one.
we're going to be looking at the next activity, which is coming from Knowledge Check 1.8. Instructions. Rewrite the sentences using the reported speech. Remember to use capital letters and periods. You may use that or not. Follow the examples. I'm not surprised at all, she told me. She told me that she wasn't surprised at all. Or she told me she wasn't surprised at all. Let's do number one together. I'm not surprised at all. She told me. What is the answer? What is the answer? She told me she wants her all surprise at all. Very good. She told me she was not surprised at all. All right. I'm going to allow you guys to share your screen. One participant can share your screen. And we are going to work the activity. And then we're going to check it together as a class. Ready, let's go. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Um, no, yes. Okay, uh, I would like for you guys to work together as a group. Um, sorry, but I just joined the meeting and I don't know what the activity is. Oh, we're doing exercise 1.8, knowledge check, 1.8, knowledge check. Okay, thank you. Reported speech. For example, in number two, 
He asked me, he had, you heard that news? If, he asked me if I had heard the news. He asked the me, he had, you, oh, he had me. He asked, asked me. Uh-huh. And if, after that? If I had heard the news, um, Porque en el ejemplo está el que está en primera persona, la primera parte. Okay, guys, let's check the first one. Who can give me the answer to the first one? Who can give me the answer to the first activity? Do you have the answer? Number one, I am not surprised at all. What's the answer? She told me to, she told me she was not surprised at all. She told me she was not surprised at all is correct. I'm going to share the answer in the group. Okay, just a second. So number one is she told me she didn't. She told me she wasn't surprised at all. All right, who can give me number two? Number two. I'm sorry, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I tried to uh, rewrite. He, he asked me, have I heard the news? Very good. He asked me if I had heard the news. All right, number three. Number three. Who can give me number three? Me teacher. Okay. She said there was a, a van down the street. All right. She said there was a van down the street. Excellent. Number four. Number four. And she asked me why were not you talking? Very good. She asked me why I wasn't talking. Excellent. Number five. Number five. He told me to give him a call. Very good. He told me to give him a call. Number six. Number six, somebody, anybody, number six. She told, she me, told me that sorry, sorry. they were getting married. She told sorry. me they were getting married, number, very good. Number seven.
number seven. Who can read number seven? Anybody? The children. children asked me if the movie had been scary. Very good. The children asked me if the movie had been scary. Number eight. Number eight. can read number eight. They told me that they didn't take the A train. They told me that they didn't take the A train. Okay. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Okay. No question, teacher. All right. I have to take the attendance. So when I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Anna. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos. Present, teacher. Christina. Christina Abigail, absent, okay. Damaris? Present teacher. Good job. Daisy? Present teacher. Excellent. Elisa? Present teacher. Awesome. Elizabeth? Present teacher. Awesome. Elmer? Present teacher. Good job. Erica? Erica. She said that uh, her microphone doesn't work. Okay, thank you. Gabriel. Present. Thank you, Gabriel. Gloria. Present teacher. Good job, Gloria. Juan. Present teacher. Very good. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, Miguel absent. Sandra. Present teacher. Excellent. Saul. Present. Good job. Sergio. Present teacher. Very good. All right. At this moment, does anybody have questions about this exercise? Okay. No, teacher. Let's go ahead and move forward. We're going to be looking at 1.9. In this class, participants will learn and practice using expressions to report speech. Listen, please. Let's keep on practicing reported speech. Are you ready? Can everybody hear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. He asked me too. He want me not to. He promised to. He wanted to know. He explained that. He told me that. He told me to. He asked me. He advised me to. He encouraged me to. He wondered. Practice reporting what a classmate told you in class. Your teacher told me you were good at this.
Okay. Let's look at the first. He advised me to. Repeat, please. He claimed that. He claimed that. He claimed that. He claimed he that. Me that. He, he asked, asked, he me, asked to. me to. He warned me not to. He warned, he warned me, me not, not to. 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 He promised to. He, he promised. promised. He promised to. He wanted to know. He wanted, he wanted to, know. to know. He explained that. He, he explained, explained that. that. He told me that. He told me that. He told me, that. That. He told me to. He, he told me, me to. to. He asked me. He, he asked, asked me. me. He advised me to. He advised, he advised me, me to. to. He encouraged me to. He, he encouraged me to. to. He wondered. He, he wondered. wondered. He wondered. Okay. Now, for this activity, what we're going to do is use these expressions to complete this exercise. Listen to Nicole on Tony's news. Choose the correct picture. Listen, please. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen. They're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two. Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means, as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh... No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. <sighs> this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... All right, we're going to play the audio one more time. We're going to play the audio one more time. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. Okay. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. 
How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning listen. a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and yeah. I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to go... Two, Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. Oh, this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay, let's check the first one. Who can give me the answer for Nicole? Letter A. Letter A, good job. Sergio. Number two, Tony. Letter B. Letter B. Very good. Elmer and Gloria, letter B. Part two. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday. But no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant. And while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two, Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. 
You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. Oh, this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay, let's look at the first one. Nicole's sister met her boyfriend in the fall yesterday over four years ago. Over four years ago. Over four years ago. Good job, Sergio. Nicole's sister is probably not afraid to be different. Very traditional, shy. Not afraid to be different. Not afraid to be different. Good job, Gloria. Number three, how are things at the design studio? There isn't, isn't enough, enough work. Very good. There isn't enough work. And the last one, where will Tony's job end? When will Tony's job end? In less than a month. In yeah. less than a month. Good job. All right, guys. Very good. Any questions about these exercises? Nope. Okay. We have time for one more. We got two minutes reading. Let's look at this one. Read the article. Use headings or missings from the text. Choose the correct one. All right. I will give you two minutes to work with this activity in pairs. Ready, let's go. Give me just a second. Give me just one second. Is everybody back? Yes, okay. All right, guys, we're gonna recreate the groups. Give me one moment. Recreate. Let's do it. For <clears throat> option number four, okay, the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay, you next, the next one. Make so his business cards. The index two, it would be the corporate big shot. The, the corporate big shot. This the ocean is ocean. The ocean option. Mm, let me see. <laughs> Which one? The ocean option. Okay. The the last one. The last one. Okay. Is 
message is the one. in person makes trivial phone calls one after another after another on our planes you over here her saying ridiculous things like hi we haven't left yet number three mm -hmm. the useless call maker Excuse me. The useless call maker. It's the option number five. Number five, okay. Ya nos va a sacar del grupo real ahora. <laughs> Gracias, Gloria. Okay. It's the next one. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh, see, I talk anywhere. Yes. I talk? I talk anywhere. The second option. Mm -hmm. uh, second. Second option. Yes. Okay. Mm, only that. Okay, guys, it's time to go tomorrow. Good night. See you Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night, guys. Good night.